if you can tell me your name and your company. So I'm Rob Master. I'm the North American Media Director for Unilever. Fantastic. Now you gave the keynote today at the Digital Marketing Conference? Yes. I was wondering if you could uh, talk about a couple of the points that you brought up in that presentation. Um, which we thought were fantastic. First of all, the super distribution? Yeah, so super distribution is something we talk a lot about with. When we develop an idea on the web, it's not enough just to put it on your website. It's really about taking your idea and going to where consumers are on the web. Just like I think we made a shift from our media budgets to follow consumers onto the web, you can't stop there. You have to follow consumers to where they are on the web, which isn't necessarily your brand website. And that's, that's a, a, I think an important lesson that we are continuing to see and learn and evolve our campaigns. The idea that you just build it and they will come simply does not apply. I think we've seen that. And it just doesn't stop on the internet, right? I think the key is having a terrific idea. With a terrific idea, you know, you syndicate it across the web, but also it provides an opportunity to go into other media and PR. So get picked up on morning talk shows or picked up on you know, radio DJ chatter or picked up in you know, print or newspaper, I think, is an important component of when we talk about super distribution. It's taking that single idea that's potentially on the web that tells a brand story and just bringing it to life, not only all over the web, but all across media in general. Now that ties into the, uh, the point that you made about viral being more about something that happens and less about being something that you design for. Could you talk a bit? more about your thoughts around that? Yeah, I mean specifically I think we talk a lot about the birth of the viral video, at least for Unilever, it was a terrific piece of work done in Canada from our Ogilvy and May their partners here. And it was called Evolution. And it, it really was a phenomenal global success. Uh, I think as, as wonderful as it was, I think it began to set an expectation within the organization, I think across many organizations who saw that success, is people started briefing for viral videos. And I think um, you know, at the end of the day, consumers make a decision of whether things are viral or not. Uh, brand managers don't, ad agencies don't, media agencies don't. It's really consumers. And I think, you know, having a terrific idea that is based on a consumer insight that's compelling, that's engaging, that's what drives consumers to engage and, and something to be viral. And, and that's what we really encourage us to like, is, is for teams to to, to develop a piece of content that's engaging that follows those guidelines. And, and then you hope that the consumer you know, believes it's viral and they kind of uh, bring it to life for you through a, you know, a forward kind of viral mentality. One of the things you talked about when you were doing the presentation was that can take the form of a parody in terms of, of it rolling out yeah. in other ways other than just sharing it but actually parodying it or satiring yeah. the content you've produced. Can you talk about how that works when you've got a strong brand or a weak brand? Yeah, I think kind of stepping back. Today, being a really great brand manager is more important than it's ever been. And I think a lot of that's based on what's happened in the digital space, whether it be um, YouTube, whether that be social networking. Today, consumers are choosing to talk about your brands, whether you choose, whether you elect them to do that or not. And I think it's important that you have a really strong, crisp brand position. And that allows you actually to do an enormous number of things with consumers, and that many of which is allow consumers to engage in your brands. And as long as your brand has a clear position and stands for something that's very clear, you know, people will have fun with your brand, but at the end of the day, you should celebrate that because it's only further amplifying what your brand stands for. Without a clear message, I think people will, you know, will define your brand in a way that you don't want to find and do parodies and spoofs, but frankly, they're not going to be deemed as parodies or going to be spoofs. They're deemed as like what your brand stands for.